Hi everybody, my name is Charlotte and today I'm coming at you with a book haul and I know this was... I got these books on book outlets, President's Day sale, but then I had this the weirdest vacation of my life. So I got these books a little while ago and obviously I got eight new books to show you and seven of them were, no, six of them were for the from the book outlet sale and they're all sort of books that I wanted a few years ago but I was like oh I can wait until whatever and then they were like less than two bucks on book outlet and I was like it's fate and then one is one I got in the airport on that that trip that I mentioned to you guys and another one I'm actually just borrowing from my aunt but I decided to include it in this video anyway I actually have five books I decided to check out from the library as well because everybody knows What does everybody know? Nothing. We all don't know everything. This first one is Ingenue. Ingenue. I've never had to say that word before. And it's the Flapper series by Jillian Larkin. And I started the first one. The first one's called Vixen. And I have not finished it. But I love everything in the 1920s. So I figure, just get it, Charlotte. It's two bucks. You can donate it if you don't like it. So yeah, I got the second one in the series hardcover which is chill I can hear my dad talking to my cat next one I got is the one I got at the airport and this is one more thing by BJ Novak and I'm gonna be completely honest I did not know what I was purchasing I was in that airport haze you just you just set off all the security things so you had to go get patted down and you you just went and you wanted to buy a book and you saw BJ Novak and you, you trust BJ Novak so you buy BJ Novak's book and I later learned it is just short stories here he is on the back he's the office dude if people don't know so I will be reading that at some point it will probably make me feel kind of fancy because short stories just sound fancy. The next one I got is Tempest by Julie Cross and this is one of the ones I wanted a few years ago that I didn't get and now it was cheap. So this one is about a girl, guy, that guy. It's about that guy and he sees his girlfriend, who I assume is that person, get shot and then he goes back in time to stop it. He gets like stuck back in time in 2007 because this is 2009 oh wow it's really been like a few years wait no it was, it was written in 2011 okay it's only been four years um and yeah so then there's these enemies of time people that they sound evil this one is unaltered it's in the cruel world trilogy and it's by Jennifer Albin and I got to meet Jennifer Albin a few years ago on a Fierce Reads tour which was super awesome that was a super awesome tour because Lee Bardugo was also there and Jen Jessica Brody and the woman who wrote those mermaid books. She is chill I just finished the first cruel book which was called Cruel and this is altered so it's um, the second one in a series, so I don't really want to spoil anything, but it's really awesome. It's dystopian, but it's a twist because it's sort of like she, can, the girl can weave the materials of time, and it's like Earth, but it's not. I didn't even know what I was reading when I started it, so that's what I'd recommend to you. If you want to read it, just go into it. Just take that leap. I don't like how they changed the cover. This one is The Chosen One by Kara Lynch Williams. This is another book that is like, just, if you use Goodreads a lot, like I do, you like just rack up your to read pile. And this is like one of the first things I put in the to read pile like four or five years ago, if that tells you anything. Um, so the, this is about a girl, and I'm pretty sure she she's 13. She grew up in an isolated community, which I think means cold and she has to read her 60 year old uncle who already has, did I say she has to read? She has to marry her 60 year old uncle who already has six wives. So she must make a desperate choice in the face of violence and her own fears of losing her family forever. This is another one of those that has been at the top of my to read pile for a while. You Have Seven Messages by Stuart Lewis. Stuart Lewis, that's a cool name. Stuart Lewis. Lewis, Lewis Stuart. It's been a year since Luna's mother, the fashion model wife of a successful film director, was hit and killed by a taxi in New York's East Village. And 
Then Luna goes and finds seven unheard messages on her mom's cell phone. So she sort of is picking up the pieces of her mother's death and I assume she will listen to those messages. This one is dueled by Elsie Chapman and this is another one that I remember reading the synopsis for and I was really interested but then I forgot about it completely and then I saw it on book outlet and I remembered that I forgot. So this is pretty awesome premise. It's two, you have like a doppelganger and both of you can't live so you have to duel to the death. You versus your twin. Who is smarter? Who is braver? Who will pull the trigger first? It's West Grayer's turn to find out. They're alts, so that's their genetic alternate. So I guess it is a twin, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a doppelganger. Uh, something about a love interest. Cool. I assume this probably has other books in the series, but I'll see. I like the cover, it kind of looks like one of those cheesy sci-fi covers. And this one is the one I'm borrowing from my aunt. It's Horror Store, a novel by Grady Hendrix. And I basically know that I've seen other YouTubers reading this and liking it. And um, I just know that it's supposed to be like an Ikea knockoff. And it's like a horror book in Ikea. Which is cool. And it has like pictures and stuff. That was my spacey book haul. And by spacey, I don't mean outer space. I mean like, I just got distracted by snowflakes outside. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I have another idea for a video already that's not really book related, but I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna do it. And I think I just need to get more in the habit of doing them weekly if I can. So if you watched this far, thank you. You were the real MVP of this video. It's not me it's you. So, thank you, and goodbye.